welcome back to my channel everyone today I'll be creating a snow globe so if you would like to learn how keep on watching first of all I'm going to create a document by a file new then change the width and height to 1200 pixels and click OK here you can see that the background layer is locked to unlock double click on the layer and click OK. Now I am going to paint the background black, edit, fill, then select black and click OK. The next step is to go to filter, render, lens layer and change the brightness to 70% and click OK. Now going back to the filter menu, distort, polar coordinates and select the polar to rectangular option and click OK. Next via the edit menu click on transform flip vertical then navigate onto the filter menu again followed by distort polar coordinates then select rectangular to polar. So there were some repetition in those steps but they are necessary to get the effect we are looking for. Moving on I'm going to use the elliptical marquee tool and starting from the top left corner of the canvas draw the circle so that it selects the circle shape on the canvas already to save the selection we have just made go to select save selection then rename it and click ok then we need to duplicate the layer which can be easily done by pressing ctrl and j after that has been done click on the eye icon to hide the original layer now I am going to create a new layer beneath layer 0. So make sure layer 0 is selected before creating the new layer. Layer 2 now needs to be filled in black. So like before go to edit, fill and then click OK. As black should already be selected. Using the channels panel click on the left icon at the bottom which creates an automatic selection on the canvas. Then going back to layers panel, select the top layer and then create a new layer. Now I am going to fill the new layer in white. So like before go to edit, fill, then select white and click OK. And repeat the step to fill the same layer in white again to intensify the color. Now I am going to delete layer 1 by selecting the layer and pressing the delete icon and also deleting layer 0. The next step is to make some room around the shape on the canvas. To do this go to image, canvas size then change from inches to pixels and modify the word to 2000 and height to 1250 and click OK. To make the canvas fit the screen press Ctrl and 0. So now it is time to select an image to put inside the snow globe. To do this go to file, open and choose an image. I have already selected the outline of the house so I have skipped this in this tutorial. If you would like to know how to use selection tools then I do have other tutorials on my channel so do have a watch. Now I am going to duplicate the layer press ctrl and J as it is then hide the original layer so the background layer is no longer visible next press ctrl and A which selects all and go to edit then copy then going back to original canvas and edit paste the image now needs to be resized press ctrl and T to activate free transform tool then holding down shift and alt drag the corners to change size and commit the changes once done within the filter menu go to lens correction and under the custom tab change the value to 40 which will curve the image and make it look more realistic then click ok then moving on to the channel panel hold down ctrl and select the layer of the selection that we had saved earlier I renamed mine as tutorial making sure that layer has been selected go back to the layer panel and add a layer mask I'm going to select layer 3 and duplicate it by pressing ctrl and J 
then merge the two same layers by a control and E now to create a new layer click on the create a new layer icon as you can see layer 5 has been created so moving on using the rectangular marquee tool I am going to select the bottom area of the snow globe just like so and then change the foreground color to a dark brown shade the RGB value for the color is 351A04 then using the paint bucket tool paint the rectangle shape now to change the background color to a light shade of brown the RGB value for that is 894T20 and click OK next switch the background color and foreground color by clicking on the switch icon now click on filter render then fibers here the variance will remain as 16 and the strength at 4 so we are ok to click ok the next step is to add a layer mask to the current layer and unlink the two by clicking on the link icon then click on the layer thumbnail and go to filter blur motion blur then change the distance to 75 and click ok next press the D key which will change the background and foreground colors to black and white then switch the two then select the brush tool and change the brush mode to color dodge and the opacity to 40 percent and also the brush size can be altered using the square brackets on your keyboard using the brush draw two lines on the rectangle so that it adds a metallic look then quickly switch the background and foreground color again making sure the brush tool is selected change the brush mode to linear burn and the opacity to 10 percent and draw a single line in the middle of the rectangle like so then duplicate the layer three times by pressing ctrl and j then to merge each layer press ctrl and e and click apply then repeat this twice more and now I'm going to duplicate layer 5 by pressing ctrl and J then activate free transform tool by pressing ctrl and T then go to edit transform perspective then holding the shift key I'm going to drag the corners out then hit enter when done now using the move tool hold down shift and move the rectangle lower which creates an effect of a base then click on the effects icon which is the add a layer style then drop shadow here change the blend mode to soft light the opacity to 70 percent and the angle to minus 75 percent then click ok this has created a really nice effect now to group layer 5 and the copied layer select both layers by holding down onto shift then press ctrl and g to group as the bottom of the globe usually have a shadow i'm going to add it on to do this i'm going to firstly select layer 4 and the brush tool make sure linear burn is selected and change the opacity to 40 then apply the brush at the bottom of the globe like this then holding down control select the circle thumbnail and open the layer 5 group and again holding down control and click layer 5 which selects all then close the group layer and create a new layer and add a layer mask to it make sure to unlink then select the layer thumbnail and paint the canvas in black then go to filter noise then add noise and change the amount to 100 Gaussian is selected and also ensure monochromic is checked then click OK now going back to filter blur Gaussian blur alter the radius to 1 and click OK then press ctrl and L to open the levels menu and change the value to 120 and 165 to add that snow effect then click ok here change the layer blend mode to screen 
and as you can see it's created a beautiful snow globe effect just to make the background look more appealing I'm going to open an image by a file open then press ctrl and a to select all and copy the image go to edit and copy go back to the snow globe canvas then edit and paste because the image is on top drag the layer on top of layer 2 then click on the top layer and link the layer thumbnail to the layer mask then holding down shift click on layer 4 which will select everything in between then press ctrl and t to activate free transform tool to keep the equal size of the snow globe hold down shift and hold then resize the snow globe to fit on the table commit the changes once you are happy with the size then using the move tool you can change the location so that was the end of this tutorial there is a part 2 coming soon which will show how to animate the snowfall so do look out for that you can now save your masterpiece hope that you have found this tutorial useful and fun if so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe thank you so much for watching see you again soon